Hey guys, Born Studios here, and today we are going to do another tier list. I got a lightsaber here, it basically lets you know what we're going to do today. This is one of them original FX lightsabers, not the new shitty ones owned by Disney. This one was back from 2004 or 2005. I've had it for like eight years now, I want to say. Anyway, you know what the tier list is today. You read the title of the video. You know what I'm about to say. You know what I've already said. I don't remember if I said it or not already. We are going to do a tier list of every Star Wars lightsaber battle in the history of the movies. We're not counting the Clone Wars or the Rebels because that's way too many. Not sure how this situation is going to work with the headphones and the hat. Grace, this is, here's the representation right here. You're, you're part of this video right now. Alright, here we are. You see me in the corner up there. Hello, I'm up here. You see me. We're going to... Sorry, my, my room looks fucking stupid. We are uh, redoing the flooring. Took out all the carpet, and now we're putting new floors in at some point in the future. We have a tier list here. S, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, F. What? A, B, C, D, E, F, D. Uh, what am I saying? A, B, C, D, S, A, B, C, D, E, F. There we go. There you go. So we're going to go through all of the lightsaber duels uh, from Phantom Menace all the way to the Rise of Skywalker. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one we're going to start off with here is... Ah, oh, shit. So the first one we're going to start off with here is Qui-Gon Jinn versus Darth Maul in the desert. Uh, this battle fucking sucks. <laughs> I am a big prequels guy, alright? I like the prequels, I like the original trilogy, and I like... The Mandalorian. I actually am one of the few people that like the Book of Boba Fett. I like Clone Wars, I like Rebels. I like parts of Force Awakens. That, that's it. But even then, even though I'm a big prequels guy, this is not one of the best battles of the prequels. Obviously. for And you guys, everyone knows that. So, it's also not one of, like, the most awful things I've ever seen. But, it's like, first off, it's short. The CGI doesn't really work anymore. I mean, it's a product of its time, for sure. But it also is just, like, not that great. Let's be honest here. So I think I am comfortable putting this squarely in the E category. I think this is our going to be... We're off to a great start. We are putting something square in E as our first lightsaber duel. Next up, we have the Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinn versus Darth Maul. This is much better. And by much better, I mean much... Like, let's talk about this for a second. We got, like... Qui-Gon versus Darth Maul, just Qui-Gon Darth Maul and on Tatooine in the sand. That's like soy vegan yogurt. And then this is like vanilla ice cream right here. So this is just your your normal great flavor, everything that you want. You got a red guy, you got a white guy, you got another white guy, you got your diversity right there with the red devil looking motherfucker. You got red lightsabers, you got green lightsabers, you got blue lightsabers. You got kicks, you got turns, you got twists, you got the death of Liam Neeson. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't seen it, go watch it. The movie is fucking 30 years old. We are going to put this one in the... Ah, oh, this is tough, because this is like one of my favorite battles. This is like one of my most rewatched battles. You know what? I gotta do it. I'm gonna put this one square in S. This is the S. First S of the video is Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. Uh, Quag Auto Number 1 versus Darth Maul. Next up, I don't know if we should count this as a lightsaber duel because it's Jango Fett versus Obi Wan. This image is taken from Battlefront 2. Um, I, I don't own this picture, so I don't know. Um, I like this fight. I actually quite like it a lot. Uh, I know it's not technically a lightsaber duel, but it's still got a lightsaber in it. I mean,. It's still got a lightsaber in it. Let's be honest here. Like if there's if there's two if there's a dick in porn, does it make it gay? No. I'm not helping my case right now. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and actually put this in B. While I do like it, while I do enjoy it, while I actually rewatch this one quite a bit, 
Uh, there are just other actual lightsaber battles that top it, in my opinion. Uh, but I like the fighting, I like the setting, I love... The, I'm a big rain guy. I prefer rainy days over sunny days, so just the fact that it's on Kamino while they're just, like, on this flooded platform, and it's just great. It's a great little... I feel like I gotta sneeze. I feel like... I feel like an elf is sticking their penis in my nostrils. It just feels weird. Next up, we got Obi-Wan and Anakin versus Count Dooku. This one is awful. This is an awful fight. This is worse than the uh, Qui-Gon and Darth Maul one. Uh, we're going to make it a little skinnier so it fits better. Uh, it's an awful fight. Uh, it's... Like, it doesn't even really have much choreography in it. I mean, that you do know that there's choreography, but a lot of it is in the dark, and they're just kind of twisting their lightsabers around like it's a fucking rave, like you're at a party. It doesn't... It's not like that cool. Like, right now, the illuminating light from the blue and purple tier list is illuminating in my face. This is what the scene looks like. Just imagine me swinging something around. They're not even hitting each other's sabers that much. So we're going to go ahead and put this in F. This is our first F. It's awful. It's a bad fight. I don't like it. It's bad. Uh, continuing from that scene is Yoda versus Count Dooku. This is a little bit better, but still, in my opinion, not great. And it's also very short. So we're going to also put this in E uh, for evil. Uh, next up is Obi-Wan and Anakin versus Count Dooku Part 2. This one, uh, I actually see a lot of hate for this fight, and I don't know why. I actually quite enjoy this fight. I especially love the choreography. The choreography from the last fight with Count Dooku, Obi-Wan, and Anakin to this one, much better. Miles Ad, I mean, I know it's another movie and they had a lot of more, cho a lot more choreography, but I notice little subtle things every time I watch it, like there's this, um, a move that Count Dooku does... Uh, and he does it later on, and Anakin learns that he does it, and then parries it, and com uh, like, combats it, and it's just great. It's just really expertly, uh, choreographed. And choreography is a big thing for me. I'm gonna put this, uh, this may be a controversial pick. Maybe a controversial one for me. I'm gonna put this in A. I think this is a really good fight. I think it's severely underrated. A lot of people shit on this fight for some reason. I don't know why. I like it. I think it's very enjoyable. Next up, we have... Grievous versus Obi Wan. This is also, without a doubt, without hesitation, this is going to go in A. Uh, this is just so fun. I mean, it doesn't last that long. Uh, a lot of these don't last super long, but it's for the moment it does last. It like gives you suspense, like when Grievous pulls out the four lightsabers. It's just really, it's a lot. It's a vert's expectations. It's a great fight. It's fun. It's the prequel fight, so of course it's going to be fun. Speaking of totally fun prequel fights. Next up is Mace Windu versus Sidious and Anakin. Uh, there's potential here, but I don't think they reach their potential. Uh, in my opinion, I don't know if you guys ever played the Revenge of the Sith game. Uh, instead of Sidious fighting Windu, you, there's a scene, you play as Anakin, you fight Mace Windu. I think that would have been a much better fight if they had cut out the Sidious and Mace Windu thing. Like, instead of showing the fight, they show Sidious get his lightsaber and go, it's treason jumps at them and kills the other guys and then they like point at each other and then they cut to Anakin arriving and then at, when he arrives Mace Windu's got him out the window and then they fight and that's the scene we get. It would have been much better if we got Anakin versus Obi -Wan, or Anakin versus Mace Windu. Uh, and I don't love like obviously it's not Ian McDermott's fault he's not good at the choreography. He's a little bit on the older side but I don't know when I watch this I'm just kind of waiting for Order 66 to happen you know. I'm not focused on this. I'm focused... Because I've already seen it before millions of times. This is my... Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, and I'm just waiting for Order 66 to happen. So this one's going to go and see. Um, not a great fight. But not a terrible fight. Not as bad as the three down at the bottom. Uh, next is Sidious versus Yoda. This is a great duel. I actually really enjoy it. I like the choreography. I like that... You know, this is essentially the duel of the... I like that they play Duel of the Fates during this scene because it's essentially Duel of the Galaxy. It's the battle between good and evil. Uh, while we also have Obi-Wan versus Anakin, which is the also another version of Duel of the Fates. Uh, this one, I think, is going to go in A. I really like it. I really enjoy it. It's really good. It's really great. Next up is Anakin versus Obi-Wan and Mustafar. Come on, guys. Come on. This one is obviously... 
without a shadow of a doubt. Obviously, this is going in F. It's just terrible. The acting is so atrocious. The high ground moment is so hideously stupid. The lava looks so fake and CGI. You can tell that it's just this fake CGI globby mess. I'm just... I'm fucking with you all. This is obviously S tier. Ah, uh, I don't know if I fooled anyone there. Obvious S tier. Like, do I need to say any more? This is the best... Like, it's not my personal favorite. I'm just gonna be mentioning that right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is my second favorite. It's not my personal favorite. It's my second personal favorite. But... Realistically, stylistically, I cannot dispute the fact that that is just the best lightsaber duel. It's perfectly paced, it's got great action, great choreography, the acting is not atrocious. In my opinion, the acting is fantastic, especially with Obi-Wan saying how he failed them. And the thing I always notice about Anakin, a lot of people give Hayden Christensen a lot of shit and a lot of flack for being Anakin. I actually have grown to love his portrayal of Anakin, because there are a couple things that I've noticed earlier on in the prequels, like in Episode 2. Where I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't see Darth Vader saying that line. Like, I don't imagine Darth Vader. Like, think about Darth Vader in the robotic suit with the red lightsaber in, like, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, or Return of the Jedi being like, I slaughtered them like animals. The women and the children, too. I don't, I can't imagine him saying that. But then I take Anakin's dialogue in this fight, and I clearly see Vader saying it. So if I saw Vader saying, I hate sand, it's rough, it's coarse, it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. I couldn't imagine it. It wouldn't sound right. But if I imagined Vader with the suit, with the helmet, with the lightsaber, the red lightsaber, saying something like, I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Or, in my point of view, the Jedi are evil. You underestimate my power. That are, That is Darth Vader dialogue. All of what Anakin says in this Mustafar fight is Darth Vader dialogue that I can imagine him saying. And I just think it's perfect. Um... Now we have Obi-Wan versus... Or no, Ben. I should say Ben versus Darth Vader. Um, e. It's not bad. I mean, it's still... It's like got a lot of weight to it, especially if you watch the prequels and, like, Clone Wars and all that. It's got a lot of weight to it, because you're like, oh, no, Obi-Wan. But there are just better battles. And I think that'll be the, uh, my... That'll be it for E. I think we'll just stick with that. Um... Next up is Luke versus Vader in Empire Strikes Back. Now, I told you that Obi-Wan versus Anakin on Mustafar was not my personal favorite. There's a reason why. It's my second personal favorite behind this. Luke versus Vader on, in Cloud City is my favorite lightsaber duel in a Star Wars movie. I love the tension. It feels, at times, feels like a horror movie. I like the fact that there's no music for a, for a little bit at the beginning of the fight. Like when Luke first enters and the lights come on and Vader's like, the force is with you, young Skywalker, but you are not a Jedi yet. It's just great, and the tension is building up, and the music starts to swell in, and it just has a, it's got great tone. The tone is great for this battle, everything about it is just amazing, and then, of course, we get the spectacular reveal that he's your father. Uh, this is a more of a serious video, I would say. I was expecting to go in here making jokes and all that, but no, I like it. Luke versus Vader uh, in Return of the Jedi. Uh, also a great battle. Also ends spectacularly. Uh, the the Luke rage moment is one of my favorite moments in Star Wars history. When he's like, when Vader says that if he's not going to turn, maybe Leia will. Luke goes out. He snaps. He goes off on him. One of my favorite moments in Star Wars, especially when he's beating on him and he just. That's great. I'm going to put it in A. It's not quite the three up there. It's not quite Duel of the Fates. It's not quite Anakin versus Obi-Wan. It's not quite Vader versus uh, Luke in the last movie. I feel like they did it better with, in Empire Strikes Back, but this is still a really good fight. Alright, now we have Ahsoka versus a uh, person from Mandalorian. <laughs> uh, look, I like the Mandalorian. I like it a lot. I think it's a really good show. I think it's very expertly made the production design is fantastic everything about it is really good i'm quite enjoying it it's really weird to say that i'm enjoying something from disney that's star wars related and this is one of those things i just i like it but i don't like this battle and i'm gonna put it in f because it just wasn't that good for me uh next up we have din Djarin versus moff gideon uh in mandalorian season two I like this battle, even though it's kind of short, but it's not, like, great. It's not fantastic. It's not, like, 
it's not like these three or like these four. I don't even think it's better than the Jericho Fat one. I'm going to put it with the Mace Windu and uh, Anakin Sidious duel. I think that's a good spot for it. Uh, next up we have Finn versus this guy. <laughs> FN21... No, FN1882. I don't know what the fucking guy... I don't... Look, I like parts of the sequel trilogy. I hate The Rise of Skywalker. I hate The Last Jedi, but I do like certain parts of it. Uh, I don't know. This is... And I, I actually... I don't hate The Force Awakens. I actually fairly like The Force Awakens. But this is like one of the worst parts of it. I'm going to put this in... Fuck it. I'm going to put it in F. It's just... It's bad. It's not good. Uh, no. No. I'm going to put it in D. It's not that bad. I'm thinking about it. And I'm like... Only because of Traitor! I just... I put it there because of that. Ray in Finn versus Kylo Ren in Force Awakens. Uh, I actually quite enjoy it. Uh, it's better than any other battles in, uh, the sequel trilogy, in my opinion. I'm gonna put it in... I'm gonna put it in B. I know that's gonna get a lot of hate, but I quite enjoy it. I quite, I quite like it. Uh, Rey and, uh, Kylo versus the Praetorian Guards. It's enjoyable. It's cool. It's one of the only things I somewhat can stand about The Last Jedi. But, you know, it kind of goes on for a little bit too long. I know it's not even that long, but I just feel like it goes on for too long. I would put it in D. It's not great. It's not awful. It's one of the few good things. If it's one of the few good things about The Last Jedi and it's in D, that shows you how bad of a movie The Last Jedi really is. Uh, and now we have Luke versus Kylo Ren. This is by far the worst for me. I'm going to put this in F. Uh, it's got potential. I just don't like what they did. I like the... Look, I like Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson's a really cool filmmaker. I like Knives Out. I love Looper. I don't think he was the right fit to direct Star Wars. I just don't. I think that you should have had one director carry throughout the entire trilogy. Like, you know, having three different directors could work because it worked for the original trilogy, but I don't think it worked for the sequel trilogy. It might have been the writing. I don't know. I would have much rather preferred to see Colin Trevorrow's third movie over The Rise of Skywalker, but... I don't think Ryan Johnson was the right person to make this movie. So, I'm going to put that in F. It's bad. And then, Ben versus the Knights of Ren. This is pretty bad, too. I'm going to put this in D. Uh, because, I don't know, the Knights of Ren are kind of pointless and boring and stupid. Uh, <laughs> uh, they don't really do much for the movie. Uh, but there you go. There's my ranking. This is, uh, again, this is just my list, not the correct list. I feel very confident in my list. I think this is a good uh, good list. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. I'm sweating. I'm going to go stick my head in a fucking freezer.